If you followed my channel, you know that I got into enduro racing 5 years ago, at age 40. My goal was to finish the top 50% of all men in the races I did. I did progress quite a lot during the first 2-3 years, but then I hit the plateau, and the last couple of years has been frustrating. So disappointed with today's results. I haven't had a top 50 all year. Really disappointed today. So for 2021 I decided to partner up with a mountain bike coach to hopefully boost my progression. This is part one of a year-long YouTube series about being coached and what results it can lead to. Today we're talking goals. I started looking for a coach and found what I believe is Sweden's best enduro coach. At least for me. I found U1 from Trailfit. U1 won the 2019 Enduro Series in Sweden in the 40 plus age category. So he's obviously fast and about the same age as me. But I also got really interested in his thinking about MTB coaching, as it seemed to involve the mental part a lot, and going back to the basics technique wise. Let's hear about it from Johan. If we want to reach our goals, we have, we have to look at the, the whole picture. What skills do you have today? How your bike works with you and, and how your mind works when you're riding. Then we can work on your physics, your strength and all of that. But uh, I think we have to have a, a solid base where you know how your bike works and react. You have to know how your mind works and react in different situations and conditions. And you, you have to know what kind of skills you have. What is your strength on the bike? <laughs> that got really hard, actually. Yeah. <laughs> what is my strength on the bike? Um, I guess maybe that I'm kind of all round. So I start rambling about being an all round rider. But it becomes obvious I have no idea about what my strength on the bike actually is, if I have any. It's like uh, it can be hard to, to pinpoint uh, our strength in something because we are often looking at our weaknesses. Yeah, as you're saying, I, I think corners is kind of part of my weaknesses. I don't think. And then I go on and start to ramble about all my problems for like 30 minutes or so. So here we are talking about your, your lack of skills or your, your problem areas. And here is no problem to, to speak about them. We can, we can continue this for an hour. It's, it's usually not a problem. We, we have a tendency to, to focus on the negative stuff, taking us in a wrong di direction because we, don't, we, we say like, we don't want to go slow in corners. We don't want to uh, crash in jumps. We don't want to slip on, on slippery routes or rocks. The brain can't, can't understand what you're uh, focusing in because you're focusing in a negative direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so this, is, this is the easy part, talking about what we can't do. But my question was, what is your strength on your bike? What so this you... is not an easy talk to have with you one. It becomes really soul searching. And I still don't have an answer to what my strength on the bike is. Then you one asked me about my training the previous year. And I've talked about that in a previous video. I would do one day of interval training. One day of skills training, like corners and stuff like that. I would do two days of strength training. And to keep it efficient, I would do like 30 minute sessions at home with belts and bands. And I would do two days of stretching, only like 15 minutes, but to get some stretching in. And then to finish it up, I would do a race day simulation. Meaning getting out into the forest for like three, four hours. Uh, pedaling between some downhill runs and trying to be as fast as possible on them. You want to ask me about what results I experienced from it? So, well, I'm not sure if I, anything I've ever done has made me feel that wow that made me go faster on the bike <laughs> to be honest okay okay so string uh, uh, all the training last year is a bit uh, have it made me better or you can't really tell it's hard to it's, say it's not yeah. it's not that i really felt that wow this has made me better the race results during this late autumn kind of indicates that i got a bit faster uh, racing is a result and, and you can go back and see what kind of preparations you made uh, post-racing and see if that preparation or that work have made you 
taking you towards your goal. I think the the most important part is that you have to sharpen your pencil, take out a piece of paper, write down what your end goal is, and then try to figure out what I have to do to get to that point. So yeah. well, well, I'm not sure where to go with this goal thing. Okay, you're saying yeah. that that's uh, that's the hard part. Um, yeah, that's this is the hard part. And and if we're going to be successful uh, in our relationship as a, a coach and client, uh, then we have to. Yeah, I, I have to have. <clears throat> it's it's it can't be my goal, because you have to. It's your work. I'm here to coach you and guide you and and make you better as a writer so, but so maybe my goal i'm not sure how you would make that measurable but you know kind of owning the terrain not 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 necessarily you know steep rocky super hard parts but more like you know just general terrain mm. you know what you've been talking about generating speed from terrain and everything um, yeah. but i'm not sure how you would make it measurable or if you're talking about owning the terrain then we have to go back to and try to figure out what you have to do to own the terrain. What is, mm. What's your behavior? What, what, what do you have to do? So, so what do you have in your, on your mind? Well, I'm kind of frustrated that I can't wrap my thing, head around this or, or find the goal or no, no. Um... Yeah. So to summarize it up, you need what are you gonna to do to until the next time? I'll uh, either record myself uh, doing some different uh, features or sec- sections, or or dig up some already existing footage, um, and then I'll try and define a goal. All right, cool. So this was my first talk with you one. He lives three hours away from me, but as the stairs goes on, we'll hook up so he can give me some IRL coaching. Also, I will partake in his TrailFit program, where I will have some basic and profound revelations about mountain biking. Then later on, we'll see how this will affect my racing. So stick around for the rest of Coach. And make sure you hit the bell and all that. And dude, keep fighting.